Hello, this is Kasan here teaching you how to use Cybermotion 3D Designer. In our previous tutorials, we have learned how to do modeling in Cybermotion 3D Designer. In this tutorial, we will be learning how to do animation in Cybermotion 3D Designer. First, make a model for on which you want to do animation. Mm, I am choosing the Swip Editor to make a model. You can make anything what you want to make. I am making a building. Uh, click on create and then click on name go back to your cyber motion 3d designer where you will be able to see your model now make a now go to analytical primitives and select one of the object I am selecting sphere you can change the radius as you know click on create and then on name now the sphere has been added to our scene drag the sphere out of the perspective panel this one around here is the perspective panel this one is front panel this one is top and this one is right. Uh, drag the sphere out of the perspective panel. Okay. Now uh, give a texture to the sphere. Go to textures, library, select one of the texture. Mm, I'm selecting this one. Click on add to project, assign to selection, and then okay. Also give a texture to the building. Uh, go to texture, library, select one of the texture. Mm, I'm I am selecting the texture of muddy. Click on add to project and then assign to selection. Okay. Now the textures has been added and the modeling section has been completed. So click on your animation panel now. Now when you have clicked the animation panel, there you will be able to see a key right at the bottom of your uh, desktop. This key is uh, used for doing animation. As you can see that the key is at 1 right now. Uh, first click on the thing on which you want to do animation. I want to do animation on sphere so I am clicking on a sphere. Click on sphere uh, and write 30 here. You can write anything what you want. Uh, I am writing 30. Press enter. Okay. Now drag the sphere towards the building. And Okay. And now 60 now write 60 in the key panel and drag the sphere again out of the perspective panel okay and now when you will play the animation what will happen is the sp uh, sphere will collide with the building and go out of the perspective panel but there the it is not it nothing happened with the building so now we want to do animation with the building so click on the building then click on the key write 30 again press enter at 30 the sphere collides with the building we don't want any movement between uh, 1 to 30 so move it very little bit so it will not be able to be seen by us okay now write 60 again now write 40 and press enter and may and drag the building backward a little bit and then write 30 again it was for the movement now we are doing for the rotation click on rotation and then rotate it a little bit because we don't want any rotation uh, from 1 to 30 we want rotation from 1 30 to 40 so now write 40 uh, 40 press enter and rotate it fully okay now it has been rotated and now when you will run, uh, when you will play the animation you you will be able to see that the ball will come collide with the building and building falls down and now uh, now come to the rendering section we use this thing for rendering a photo and to render an animation we use this thing when you click on it the rendering will start automatically it will take uh, too much time uh, approximately 3 minutes to render uh, it uh, so I am cutting the video okay my rendering section is just to be completed after rendering you can save it as a AVI video or a picture sequence pictures what picture sequence does is uh, the picture sequence uh, is useful to make a GIF images in Photoshop and you can also save it as a AVI video only 5 seconds left to be rendered 4 seconds, 3 seconds my computer is lagging a lot because of my screen recording software so sorry for that mm.
okay now the video has been rendered as you can see it looks awesome while playing and the sphere collides with the building and building fall down you can make uh, animation whatever you want uh, you can save the video by clicking on file then click on save animation as avi video or save animation as picture sequence okay now today we have learned how to do animation at how to do simple animation in cyber motion 3d designer uh, in our next tutorial we will be learning further about animation okay goodbye for then meet you next week with the cool new awesome tutorial and if you are to stay updated with my channel click on subscribe and like this video if you don't get it see it again and again and please subscribe to stay updated